So I thank you very much for uh, coming for the continuation session. So now we have three teams, and each team has on board people who have studied either the Mama stall, the Starbucks, and also uh, Old Town White Coffee. So now the, the, the task at hand for each and every team, team one, two, three, is to do the following, as you can see there. I want you to develop a unique value proposition that will enable you entry into the market. So you don't want to have another Starbucks or another Old Town or another uh, uh, Malaysian style kind of uh, stall that caters for the masses. Because if you just open another one, it's very difficult for you to, to compete. Now, even if you choose to, to borrow the same concept, you really need to think of what will differentiate you. Now, I want you to please refer to your notes when you de decide the entry to the market and the customer segmentation. So these are the, are the slides that we put on open learning. So what kind of, how are you going to segment the market? Are you going to uh, uh, choose a niche market or are you going to go for the mass market? That's, that's a choice that you want to make and defend. Then you need to also to decide what kind of product you have. Do you remember we had a product that could be just a novelty and there is a way to market that and the product could be what? At the other end? So it, is, it could be either a novelty or a commodity. Now, we can, there are other ways to poach the market, isn't it? We talked about <clears throat> disruptive innovation, exactly right. So I, I want you to really dream wildly and decide how are you going to enter this market. So once you have decided the entry to the market and the value proposition, I want you to quickly move into the core competencies that you, you guys uh, need within your company to actually be able to deliver these core competencies. And I want you also to work on your strategic plan and business objectives. So the, remember the strategic plan? What, 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 what is in the strategic plan? Anyone still remembers? Could just pick the mic and speak about it? Yeah, I can see that you guys have done a lot of effort in preparation. Yeah, so we talked about the vision, the mission, the core values, and the strategies. This is what is a strategic plan. So your coffee shop, where do you want it to be in five years from today? What kind of you know, market share you will have? What kind of positioning in the market you will be having? Okay, so I hope that within whatever left of our two hours that we could achieve this. The, the more we can finish, actually, the better for you. So you can start now, and I'll go around and, um, and, and work with you. For, you could, if you want, take maybe two to three minutes to brief those uh, people who were too busy to join us on Wednesday, to brief them on what, ha what we have done thus far, so that hopefully they will be able to contribute to your teams. So did you, have you established the, uh, the, the market landscape? Yeah. So how do you do the value proposition without the market landscape? Do you know what's a market landscape? So you have, how big is our market here? So you have 12,000 people. So out of these, how many you think you reckon through your study goes to A or B or C of these choices? How many of them don't even go to the coffee? Or how many of them don't drink coffee? Maybe. You know, I, I know we didn't go and give surveys, but there are things that we could work out from the observations that we have done uh, uh, on, 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 on Wednesday. Yeah, because very quickly you need to really say that, look, this is different, and, and, and that's a value proposition that I'm, we're going to work on. It could be the price, the newness, the speed, if you decide on that. And or we, we also talked about you know, disruptive innovation. So you need to work. Now, what do we need here? We need to generate ideas, right? Yeah. So if there are no ideas, what, what should we do? Brainstorm. brainstorm. Before brainstorming, what should we do? What should we do? Word association. What did we call that? So we do brain networking. So you see, you need to start because you, you literally could be leading a team. So everyone is saying, okay, so what to do now? 
uh, let me wait, someone will start. And the other one say, okay, uh, so what's happening here? Oh, we have a lot of very smart people. So how, uh, maybe this guy, he's, he's from Finland. I think he will, he will do it. I think they know. <laughs> yeah, you get me? Then at the end of the day, we, we, we lose. So someone should say, okay, let's do this. So we've, we've talked about brainstorming. We said before brainstorming, let's do brain networking. So you start maybe with an exercise of brain networking, get everyone connected. But quickly, don't just say, oh, this is fun. Let's spend half an hour finish because literally, the more we finish, the better will you guys be. So maybe you can do that. Pants. Nike. Shoes. Boots. <laughs> uh, Slipper. Foot. Takoyaki. A Japanese. Sushi. Woman. Man. Children. Uh, Indian. Chinese. Racist. <laughs> Curry. Chicken. Mm, feathers. Uh, ice. Cube. Water. Air. Air space. Spaceship. Star Trek. Weird. Smart. Smart. Funny. <laughs> Okay, so this is quite smooth. Someone has to stop it. Someone has to stop it. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's, it's good. You are ready. So don't just carry on doing this forever. Someone has to stop it. No, it's because we were doing it while we are. Yeah, so you're already doing it. You're already doing it while Cool, cool, good. So, so you, are, you are ready now, okay? Now, now, the next step is brainstorming. Okay, who knows the rules of the brainstorming? Uh, you cannot uh, judge. You cannot... Uh, you just show, I just show ideas. Okay, so, so do you guys have computers? On you? Why don't you just take out, I want, I want one of you to get the rules of the brainstorming. Just review them very quickly from the slides so that you don't say, cannot judge, you know, because we, we said encourage wild ideas. Suspend judgment. Build on the ideas of the others. You know, this is a key. So if he says something, you build on it, don't just discard it and start a new, a new thing. Quantity, not quality, right? So, so later, after we do, we find all the ideas, how, how do we select the idea? Do you recall how did we do it? So there was the voting system. So very, but these, these things, we don't have time. We, we have to do like five minutes, three minutes, like that. So someone will be, will go, will be scribing as the ideas come. So you guys now are aware of the different value propositions, right? And then you want to come up with a new idea for your product. Now, after this, you will need to decide your, uh, uh, value, your uh, the core competencies to deliver this. Again. I want someone, not necessarily the same computer, so these are all open together. You take out the, no, the, the slides for the core competencies. What did we say about them? What are they? Don't just start, what was the core competencies, and then you discuss among yourself, because we mean something very specific. Then when we say strategic plan, again, we need a vision and a mission. So what was the vision? You know, it was defined there. So we, we use th these. So you could, if you need more tables, we have plenty of them. You put all these simultaneously, all these resources that are available for you, open simultaneously. So don't use the same one and try to download the... the so one will, will have the core competencies. Someone should took note here. So we are talking about the strategic plan. We are talking about the, the, <clears throat> the market segmentation. Where, yeah. So is everything here there already? Okay. Then I think my, my slides could have been in the entire course in three slides. Now, please trust me. Please trust the process. Please, I know you think you know. I know, believe me, I know you think you know. But maybe there's something very important that's here. So you show me where's market segmentation. You show me, you don't have it, okay? So, so put all this knowledge that is there, simultaneously make it available to you so that you could, you know, because we don't have time, that's the key. Yeah, I really want you to go through it within whatever left of our time, which is not that much. Okay, great. Okay, sorry, I have to, can, you, can someone tell me what's the plan here? Yeah. All right, so uh, yesterday, we, we, I mean, on Wednesday, we opened a Facebook group to discuss about the business, right? So last night, we chipped uh, in some ideas and some of the ideas 
sorry. All right. Not is uh, who is not on that face group, Facebook? Raise your the, hand. The new guys. Yeah. So 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 why I want you to tell me now you have a, f a a real case. Not everyone is on the Facebook group. That's number one. I don't think everyone has contributed equally to that. All right. Now what do we have is actually very short time right. to achieve something here. Right. Now I want you to tell me what we are going to do today is. Uh, first three minutes I'll do this, the next five minutes I'll do that, the next, because for us to be able to complete the entire process, we really have to fit everything within the available time. So can you tell me how is this process going to go today, from now onwards? Uh, firstly, we just discuss the ideas. So we basically have a, a plan of business we are going to do. So, so how did you discuss, how, so what, what, how, uh, how many ideas you've discussed? Yes. He said we've discussed the ideas. He said we've discussed the ideas. Have you discussed any ideas? You just came. Okay. How many ideas you've discussed? Uh, actually discussing about probably three or four ideas. Right. So so have you uh, have you dis the uh, um, when you need ideas we normally how do we actually generate them? Brainstorm. So have you brainstormed? Yes. Have you brainstormed? So show me the, uh, these, the ideas, the list of ideas that you came up with in brainstorming. Okay, so are you on Facebook? So you, did you, you didn't brainstorm, did you brainstorm? You didn't, did you brainstorm? Did you brainstorm? So you are on Facebook. So how did you brainstorm? Okay. So do, do, do you see what I'm trying to reach here? Can you, you, ha you reach a stage where, show me your Facebook. You show me how many, how many, have, how many, how many ideas you gave on Facebook? One. How many ideas you gave on Facebook? Okay, how many ideas? None. How many? One. None. None. One. How many ideas you gave on Facebook? You're not there. How many ideas you gave on Facebook? None. How many ideas? One or two. One or two. How many ideas on Facebook? None. Did I, did I establish my yes, point? Yes, sir, but the thing is, most of the people who haven't contributed anything are people who didn't come on Wednesday. Did you come on Wednesday? No. Did you contribute anything? Not on the group. Okay. No. Did, you, did you come on Wednesday? Yes. Did you contribute anything? Okay. Did I, did, I, did I prove myself? You see, look, you have two options. Right. And the choice is entirely yours. I won't push this anymore. We've taught you a process. The process is... You need ideas, you do brain networking, you do brainstorming. Brain networking has its rules. Brainstorming has its rules. The rules are in the notes that I've given you. And the ideas need to be written, need to be contributed by everyone. It's about quantity, not quality. It's about building on other people's ideas. It's about suspending judgment. It's about encouraging wild ideas. Okay, now, yes. Sorry to interrupt, sir. Yeah, please. Uh, we were actually um, building from ideas just now. So that, that was what we were actually doing. And um, the Facebook thing is actually what we did uh, when, when we okay. formed the group. Yeah. Okay, so I think we have a valley between us. It's either you, what I'm telling you, I've given you a process. Now, when I say a process, let's say you want to go to this building. So the first, or to this venue, the first thing you need is what? You need the key, okay? So the process say you get the key. Then you need to open the place. Then you open the door, then you get in. Now, if you are seeing that getting the key, opening the door is a trivial part, tell me about what will happen inside, man. Don't waste my time. That's your choice. But I just want to tell you, if you have only four ideas contributed by two people, because that's what you are telling me, and you are discussing that, I'm telling you you are losing on the sea of ideas that if you brainstorm, you could have gotten. The choice is yours. So if you want to do brain networking, brainstorming, create 50 ideas, vote on them, and pick one, and I assure you, it's gonna be different from the four ideas that you have. Or, 
you have four ideas. Those people who didn't attend on Wednesday, they are feeling guilty. They say, oh, we don't know. They know. Let's just hang around. And you just create whatever you want to create. The choice is yours. Did, did I make myself clear? Yeah, because without that key, you actually cannot go in. No matter how much you've prepared, you cannot go in. Then everything else will stall. So the choice is yours. So if you want to follow the process, then do brain networking so that everyone is on the same page. Do brainstorming so that you create more ideas. Quickly decide which idea you want to get. Convert it into a value proposition. And when I say value proposition, I want you guys to have your slides on value proposition so you are always refreshing in your mind what are the bases for the new you know i'm i'm not telling a secret that i'm testing this in the exam so if you just say value proposition is this but i may be asking you not to even give you value proposition tell me or or i just give you maybe a, a value proposition of a company and i say okay tell me how did they establish it if you don't know how is this built you will just go what is this so I'm actually putting through the process for a reason. But if you don't want to do it, it's your choice. You, you are an athlete, aren't you? So they put you through warming up, and, and sometimes you don't like it. I know that people want to play, right? But they, they force you to go through certain things, because without that, you won't play well. I know that especially the, the better players at times, they miss the training, aren't they? Some of them. You know, when we read about them, they, they develop an ego, they, an ego, they think that they are good, you know, no need to, to go. But this is all done for a reason, because it's not only you, it's a team. So the choice is yours. So my advice is, and I'll leave you, my advice is you do brain networking, and don't just do what you remember. You look at what we've taught, then brainstorming, then uh, develop your value proposition from the new idea that you, you have, then develop the core competencies. And I want every one of you to open their computer on a different slide so that simultaneously you could look at what are the rules for, what, what, what are the rules for brainstorming, how do you define the, the, uh, and develop the value proposition, what are the core competencies, what's the strategic plan. All these things are available. Don't just wait for one guy to download and upload and so on. No, simultaneously you have everything. You can even pull another table if you want and put these as resources. Anyone could just go and refer to them. Then you will, you will be surprised with the results. Choice is yours. So if you want to go this way, then you know how much time you, you, you are left with and work accordingly so that hopefully we can go through the full swing. Any question? But you see, before you, you, you need to, I, okay, I'll leave you. So you, what you need to do is you discuss. Do you guys agree? Do you think that, I really, I leave it to you. You could just say, look, this will take too much time. I think I know what should be done. And it's one of these four ideas. Let's just do it. Choice is yours. Yeah. So you can, you can discuss and you, I just leave this with you so that you discuss without me. Yeah, you can use that. You can use the mic, please, when you talk. Uh, banana. Beans. Coffee beans. Breakfast. Mother. What? Mother. Father. <laughs> Friends. Friends. Uh, colleague, colleague. Work. Um. <laughs> Drinks, cup, coffee, Coca Cola, Sprite. Sorry, Sprite. Coke, Fanta, Carl's Junior. Carl's Junior. Burger. Hundred plus. What? Hundred plus. <laughs> revive, revive. Vodka. Ice cubes. Refrigerator. Hot. Cold. Latte. 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 Oh. Cappuccino. Espresso. Starbucks. Mocha. Money. 
woman. Prostitute. Pretty. Hot. Fat. Skinny. Potato. Um, brown potato. Alright, so I guess it's okay now. Alright. So, let's brainstorm the shit out of this. So, who would, who's gonna. No, no. That's a good idea. Um, free, uh, free delivery to teachers, lecturers. Okay, uh, smartphone uh, app, uh, applications. Membership system for the lecturers. Promotions for members. Lounge style. We offer food as well. I want a massage chair. So it make me comfy. <laughs> Comfort when I drink my coffee. Entertainment like a band. Indoor smoking. Big screen. Wi-Fi. Bean bag seats. We, we, we telecast live football matches. Maybe you can provide like photocopies because photocopies we will have a waiting time, right? So maybe you can provide like printing and photocopy service. So the, during the waiting time, they can have. No, because if if we, if if they come for photocopy and they find coffee, we can lure them to have one cup of coffee. Can yeah, that's how we can say what? No, the photocopies thing. I was relating that if they come for a photocopy, so we kind of promote promote our coffee as well, sir. In the meantime, would you like to try our coffee? Yeah. Kind of linked What's the focus of this process? We are now just kind of throwing out like random ideas yeah, 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 yeah. But do you remember the brainstorming has to start with the focus, isn't it? So is the focus develop a value proposition? No, no, no. You see the brainstorming is you have to start with, you want ideas for what? For the coffee shop on campus. What, 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 so which part of it? So you want an idea about the product? You want an idea about the value proposition? You want the idea about uh, in increasing sales? Because you see, there are different, so if you have a business in existence, you're looking for ideas maybe about increasing sales. That would be your focus. But if you have no, uh, if you don't have uh, the business yet, then your ideas would be about the value proposition, isn't it? So the value proposition then, things like, I don't know, um, I don't know, free reading. Is this really, so it's okay to put the idea, but you see the moment you start diverging from the focus, someone will say, can we go back to the focus so that we focus on ideas that are, that are, uh, uh, ideas that are uh, different and unique and related at the same time to the value proposition. What do students want? They want free stuff. So if, if I give you a free rot poison, will you have that? You don't want free stuff. There are certain things that you want. So you want convenience. Okay, I, I, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just, you know, try to just take the discussion in an entirely different way. Do you think students want a score? You, you agree? Is it, everyone want a score, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm just, it's a wild idea. This is a place when you drink the coffee, you will score. What do you think? No, 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 no. You see, you are judging my idea. You are judging the idea. You are judging the idea. You are killing the brainstorming. So is this wild idea to you? Yeah. Is it a wild idea? Build on it. Build on it. So who can build on this? You drink the coffee, you will get a straight ace. Build on it. Build on it. Lectures will be there. Huh? What? So the lectures give free. Le yes, this is a very nice idea. So actually, lectures, very interesting lecturers giving tips, giving good lectures there. So I have a, I have a guest lecturer there. Give me more. Give me more. Build on this. Build on this. Build on this. Build on this. Okay. But, but walls are with notes or with with previous year exam being solved or whatever. Yes, what else? Part of the profit will go to the lecturer. Part of the profit will go to the lecturer. How will that? Okay, part of the, we will see whether, part of the, what else, what else, what else? Okay, what will enhance your performance in exam? 
Okay, you physically, what will enhance your performance in exam? Your concentration. So this will help you concentrate. Memory will enhance your, so, so, so maybe, you listen, maybe this coffee shop is a place where you guys are serving something that enhances the memory. So there is, there is that research that you've done, we have put some lighting in place, some music in place that you come in, that will enhance your study, you'll go and deliver your best. Okay, I'm not only selling coffee, I'm selling this extra product. And this, you know, so nutritious. You take it before the exam, you are, you are, is that giving you ideas already? You see, you know, people, there is, there is research. So on your wall, you will show the research that, and you are talking to university students, right? So that's research that's showing there is a link between performance and nutrition. And I have taken this nutrition food that if you take it over time, I can assure you that you will have, then that will be different. This is, Starbucks didn't do. The, the Malaysian style didn't do. The, the, then you will have an outlet in each and every university on earth. Because people know when they come in there, there will be lecturer teaching things. Uh, before the exam you have guests, I don't know, uh, people talking. Now imagine, imagine. The night of your entrepreneurship exam, that shop will bring me in. And I'll sit there and answer questions, any questions. You say, from, you, you start studying what time? 12 midnight? Yeah, okay. So that's last minute preparation. They will get that lecture in. That's, that's an example. Did, did, did you see the possibilities? Did you see, what, how did you kill, how did you try to kill the idea? No, 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 you don't feel sorry for me, you feel sorry for yourself. Because this is how we want the brainstorming to happen. And these are ideas that you will never do them without people building on other people's idea using the brainstorming. That's what I'm trying to drive home here. I, re I know that you think you know. I know that you think you know, but you don't know. I also don't know, but the crowd is wise. The group is wise. That's why brain networking then will create a huge brain power that's better than me alone or him alone or you, you alone. So, so for example, the, I was actually thinking of the nutrition part, but when you start talking about the students, uh, sorry, the lecturer, and, uh, and the walls, and I said, yes, the surrounding, these are things I didn't think of when I came here. I was only, th but you've given me something, I could have shot you, but I didn't, because I want to see what will happen next. And that would be really, really different. The, are you closer now to the value proposition? Yeah, something intellectual. This is a coffee shop on campus has a potential of opening a branch on each and every campus in the country, in the region, in the world. I am actually starting to like this idea already. Maybe we should do it. <laughs> How many students are working in Starbucks, uh, Old Town, and, and this Malaysian style shop from Taylor's? Yes. Yes. Does it make a difference if they are, actually I've, I've checked, I sell them, I, they are very few. I have checked, they are, they are not Taylor students, for whatever reason. Now, now maybe there is a way to actually provide that experience if you could attract more Taylor students to work. To enhance whatever value proposition you are, you are, you are, you are having. So, so maybe it is um, a leadership opportunity for the students. You know, we know work can build your character, isn't it? Yeah, but you, you guys don't want to work anywhere. But we provide a place that the students work there, not only for, to gain some money, but because this is a leadership opportunity. This is a character building work. Okay, let me give you another idea. And please build on it. If you work for this coffee shop, you will gain credit. You will gain marks. Don't say how. 
you tell me how you can gain credit and marks for when you work on this, on the, on this uh, coffee shop. Uh, wh why would the university give you credit? Why the university give you marks? Yes. Yes, yes, how, how, how? Yes, you're right, you're right. You are on the right track. No, even for engineering, even for medicine. Okay, l let me get the mic and then we continue this discussion. Yeah. Okay, so how, 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 you tell me. So how can we make this work? How can we make this coffee shop uh, add, uh, allow students to gain credit? Who wants to talk, please take the mic. And I encourage you to talk. Actually, it can be part of the coursework. <clears throat> sure. So it's like a uh, part of the assignment that uh, when lecturer assign this to like uh, certain people, uh, and then uh, they, it will show how they treat uh, the customer, everything, and then the lecturer will obtain the feedback from customer whether he or she performed good or not. Okay. So Very good. Now, now you guys have been filling portfolios, aren't you? Okay, and portfolios, which is, which, which is the part that's the most difficult to give evidence for? Okay, so, so let's give this to Mike. Okay, so, so soft skills. So we are saying that Taylor's graduate capabilities, you need to be able to deal well with people too. And is, this is a soft skill because the hard skill is very easy, right? I say, okay, I, I did integration. This is, an, this is a proof that I've done integration by parts. But the soft skills. So if, for example, this coffee shop will work with tailors to, to put the students through experiences. So, that, so there is a camera and the, in, the encounter that you have with the, with the students, with the, with the difficult uh, customer or whatever, the way you service the customer, and there is a, 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 an iPad to assess me. And I know that on that day, Michael Wee was the, the cashier and I assessed him accordingly. And that will go into a system where through work, earning a little bit of money, you're actually building your uh, 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 ability to interact with people. Do you think this is unique? This is actually, I haven't heard this in the entire world, not only on the Lake Campus. You, you see what, how, how, what is the importance of the focus? Because now you just like, Throw ideas all over the place. It's surrounding, it's product, it's pricing, is, is this. That's, that's gonna be difficult. But when, once we say it's value proposition, it has to be something that make us different. And, and you can take it through another one. Okay, everyone comes, takes massage. Now, don't say, ah, this is gonna be this. No, 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 you just say, okay, so let me build on it. So what massage makes you feel? You tell them, how do you feel now? <laughs> You feel comfortable. So, so maybe we take it to, into comfort, into how and you feel special, you feel taken care of, and then we build on that. That's brainstorming. It's not about like just creating any ideas, although we say quantity, not quality, but by quantity we mean we say, okay, you take this and makes you smart, for example. So this is not really a high quality idea, but building on it can convert it because if you recall the idea, the, the idea video, when they say that create a platform for other people to leap across, rather than we all, we give an idea, uh, okay, let's go back to the same, and then we start from, the, then we will never, we will never progress. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, thanks. You, you need to really, Move on, uh, yeah, by now I think it take five minutes to write your video. Whatever value proposition you decide, I think you've got so much meat here. Whatever you pick, you take that and then, because this will drive your, what? Core competencies. So if you really want to connect with, the, uh, with Taylor's uh, management, convince them to do this. What kind of people you want? Who will be your marketing manager? Uh, what kind of, you know, uh, yeah, so maybe, maybe this is the only coffee shop that you will get uh, a lecturer to lead. So you, your CEO is an academic, you know, this kind of thing, okay?
<laughs> okay, have we gotten the value proposition already? Uh, we haven't compressed it yet. Okay, so, so, so you are doing brainstorming still? Um, uh, no, we've we've brainstorm. already brainstormed. We've selected the ideas, ideas. and then... The um, proposition, the market segment, which is that, and uh, objectives, the objectives we and did get a like, couple. Uh, yeah. Now we need the core competencies. Oh, so you've, you've dis so, so you you go to the core competencies before you are putting the, your your uh, value proposition clearly. No, we haven't moved it yet. All right. Yet, okay. Yet. So, where is the value proposition? Here, but we haven't compressed it into a sentence. So, tell me, tell me roughly what is it? Okay, so basically, what we are we're having is um. We are <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Okay, what we are having is actually a coffee shop on the lake, so it's floating. Right. So first off, it's a novel. It's it's something new to the people, and then yes. you have freedom of choice. You can make anything you want. Alcohol. You can put um, tuna in your coffee or whatever, whatever you like, whatever suits oh, your fancy. Yes. Huh? As long as we have the ingredients, you you say it, we it's make it. It's very customizable. Customizable uh. Yes. You can make it whichever way you like it. Right. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then um, the main thing is that we have chicks in uh, skimpy outfits with huge yeah. tits. Yeah, so it's scenery. So it's the scenery. So we have the lake, you have water, and then you have uh, <laughs> mountains. <laughs> and then, um, well, it will be something that that's different for people. So I see, I see men here. Yes. That's the market segment. <laughs> yes. Right. And, uh, so so one, one second, one second, yes. one second. So you, how many students and staff we have around here? 12,000, right? 12, Let's 000. say 12,000. Yeah. How many percent of them are men? I'm saying 75%, I guess. Are you sure? Because we have the engineering school. Yeah, but the engineering school is yes. uh, much smaller than the <laughs> business school. And the law school, and, and comparable I, to... Uh, you, 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 uh, <laughs> okay, I, I think you need to really think 50-50. Uh, yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah. Yes, I was it's 50-50. It's so yeah. are you willing to lose half of your... Uh, you, you think it's worth it? But since girls do most of the things what guys do, and they pretty much follow them around. So you will have... Uh, yeah, eventually they will also join in the guys. But obviously the main idea is to attract the, the guys at first. But since girls usually do what guys always do, we, you know, like we... Okay, okay, one yeah. second. Do you, do you have any... Do you have the girls represented here? Anyone at least was uh, a girl in the previous life or something? <laughs> Huh? And did so many sins and was reborn as as a dude, as as a dude. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are making a lot of assumptions here. Yeah. I, I mean, on a serious note, you are, you are making a lot of assumptions here. If you go to bars, most of the bars or places. Yeah. 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 I mean, the main is Cool. Good. 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 And and you need to remember, uh, for you to operate, you will need approval from Taylor's University, right? Yeah. yeah yes. Okay. So so you need to really uh, I mean if you are if you are going to present your value proposition to them like that um, I don't know. Good luck. Good. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe you can convince them. I don't know. Yes. I give them 30% of the sales. Yeah. This is it's just like a pretty cool idea la. Yeah. Like so it's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. Not even a cool idea yet. Yeah. It's a okay. <laughs> okay. So this is still still in a way a wild idea. Yeah. That needs to be built upon. Yeah. So that we are still in the brainstorming session. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you you've told me. Brainstorming is done. Just now. I mean, brainstorming for ideas is done. Then now brainstorming for what? For. Um, okay. You need to really you need to really move on. I can see you having fun, but yeah. you really need to move on. Okay. Yeah, so if this is something that you want, I'm fine. I, I, want, I want actually people to come up with different things so their presentation is going to be fun. But uh, the, the more uh, realistic you become, then maybe, maybe some of you, like the other group, you know, we've really developed very nice ideas that, that can have the potential if someone would like to take them into their, you know, rotation, we can, we can do that. This could be like something, just an exercise, a hypothetical exercise, and that's also okay with me. But I really would like you to, to you know, close in as serious as you okay. could. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll do. Right. Yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah. And and you guys, you 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 are so serious. You watch all this and allowed it to happen. <laughs> I say it with everyone's ideas. So, uh, but did you co contribute anything to this? Yes. Okay. Good. So so not knife. You could just uh, have you have you developed ideas beyond the what we started with? Good, yes. good. So you find it useful? Yes. Very good, very good. 
Yeah. So now the focus of this brainstorming is value proposition. Yes. So things that are going to make you different. Yes. Good. Okay. Sure. You, 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 you carry on, carry on. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So close on the value proposition so that we can move into the core competencies that we need to develop the value proposition. Yeah. Very good. Yep. This, is, this, is, this is an amazing idea, actually. The free coffee for solving questions of the day. This is really amazing. Yes, really, really amazing. And you know, this could create a culture around it. And, and if we, you know, we tweak the level of difficulty that like maybe certain questions remain and solve for a while until someone comes, you know, out of this world. And, you know, I think this is really good. Really, really good. Yes. You see, I, I, uh, I read this um, somewhere. So there are places in Russia where you don't pay for the coffee you pay for the time in the place. So the coffee is free. You actually buy an hour or two hours or three hours. But once you are in, everything is free. It's like a time of cafe with coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 yes. Now, now this, would be, this would be, again, you know, we don't just kill it and say, oh, people will come and keep on drinking 100 coffees and whatever. I don't think people will do that, it's, even if they do it in the beginning. But if you build the surrounding in such a way that this is a place where people, you know, get intellectually engaged, uh, relax, network, have meetings. And, you, you, you know, you have it like as if you have this whole thing working for you. You know, the moment you are in, you'll be served accordingly, you'll be given whatever you, 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 you need, and, and I don't know, and maybe you even segment it, you know, like you could have a golden excess for everything, and you'll be the, I don't know, but, but these are new, new things that you could, you could work on. Yeah. So they sell time. They sell time, exactly. Yes. Yes. They sell time, and within that time you have the surrounding, the Wi-Fi, the coffee, and these are existing business, and they're working. They are working. Yeah. Okay. It, it's good that you're working on this. Uh, I mean, you're doing the vision and the mission. Do you, have you opened the uh, slides related to the vision and mission, the strategic plan? Does this sound like a vision or like a mission? Vision. So what did we say the vision is? Vision is not there. You go to the management, the management part, not the business, yeah. 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 You refer to the notes, please. Yeah, to the, yeah. It's not in the team. Go to the management, yeah. Yeah, I can see those who haven't even had a look at the notes before. Yeah, I know you're busy, okay. Ah, yes, he has got the strategic planning, yes. Yeah, so you, you read for them. Yeah, uh, give him the mic. Mic, yeah, yeah. The vision would be what the organization or business wants to be or how it wants the world to be. For the mission, it will be the purpose of the exist existence of the organization or business. So does this sound like a, a compelling vision for you? You want to have? Yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? So the first part sounds like a vision or a mission? Vision. You see, can you, can you again read louder so that they hear? Oh, you've got it as well, right? Okay, okay. Right. Right, but, the, but here he didn't say number one. He said to have a branch in every campus. More, more towards the mission, right? I, I'll be opening a branch every month until I conquer all the universities. But the vision is, what will I be? 
the, the, the place to be on campus? Or how will the world be? Smart students collaborating all over my network. You just imagine, you just imagine, we may have even, you know, you've just given me an idea. You just imagine your, your coffee shop takes the best MOOCs in the world and you, you are literally like a university where people learn, where you have the question of the day and free coffee for, I don't know, these smart guys and you give them the t-shirt like I solved the, you know, you know I've seen this t-shirt they say when you do the bungee jumping, say I've jumped the, I've survived the wilderness, I have, so this t-shirt becomes an exclusive thing. I've solved the question of the day. Or we have like a counter, this question haven't been solved for the past 20 days and suddenly someone comes and solved it. Yeah, then, so it's, it's a funky kind of learning environment. You are almost like a university. And then you bring the MOOCs in and you have the network. So if you, be, if you become a part of each and every university, maybe in the country first, then in the region, then, yeah. Now, I would like actually to invite you to think like this. If you really want to progress this even beyond the course, we can run this here. So we have a place where we could actually make coffee and we can give free coffee and we can do the question of the day all these things can be actually out is outside our 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 this our office and imagine those who can gain gain so much points they could actually get an access so you almost have your own space here you could invite people you, so you have an access but you need to maintain your point intellectually or business wise or and that that access if you want it if you want to buy it, maybe it costs you a huge amount of money. So there are two ways to it. Either you give us a lot of money, or you have to be really, you know, with very high, I don't know, IQ. Example, yeah. Sorry, I've interrupted again. I think you are really on the right track. Yes. Ah, that's a good idea. But that's not the mission, and then the vision, right? What he said is a, is a strategy. So what, what, you, what, you, what you've said, ah, uh, yeah. So actually, people can propose questions, and, and they have to give us the answer so that we know that it's a solvable question, but it's very tough. And if we say this question by Dominique Ang haven't been solved for the past six months, and you know the entire world is looking for the answer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you, you say? The person who solves the question yes. can get credits for that. Yes, can, can get credit, can get uh, uh, free coffee, uh, can get access, can get the t-shirt. But you see, we, we can come up with merchandise that we make it so exclusive, that's so difficult to get. That people, when, when they wear it, you know that you have done something. Maybe certain so, certain <sighs> yes. So maybe if certain people have certain points for solving enough questions of the day, they could uh, bring this question to us if you say, we have this many points. And they have a question that ne was never solved. So we get to solve it for them. Or if they have enough points, if they want a lecture or tutorial for some subject, we could, we could have people who gain. Yes, them. yes. You actually, you just think about it. If, if this becomes a sustainable thing that people put in their CVs yeah. that I have solved so many we need to come up with a name, you know? So this is, this is w w what, what business is this or what coffee shop is this? So people go and say, I've solved so many of these questions. And people say, really? Yeah. And we have a website to collaborate that. So we say, okay, uh, uh, let's say uh, X or Y or Z have solved this question and becomes like a database of very interesting kind of questions. So it could just be like uh, the karma thing on uh, apprenticeship. So people have points. Yes. So let's say people that can actually buy points as well. So if you want to get that, uh, wow. and then for if you have this amount of points, you get one hour of lecture for this. Or, or we have lucky draws as well. So 
if they buy their copies, they take the sticker. The lucky draw could be the help on certain assignment or something like that. Right. So it could be actually points. So that they could. Yeah. So you are literally selling experience. You are not selling coffee. Kind of. Yes. And that's the best because the experience is so difficult mm -hmm. to replicate. You, you really need these brains and these people and this environment to have it. But if you just buy coffee, anyone can buy a similar coffee. Yes. You are selling human experience. Yeah, guys, I want you all to, to close in on the value proposition within five minutes. Five minutes, you have to give me a value proposition. Five minutes, so that we can move on. Yeah. Okay, uh, our market proposition right now is a quirky environment where, the, where rest meets fun and customization is the name of the game. Right, so, so customization really is the... Yes. Because you see, the others, everyone is claiming it, right? Yeah. And everyone say this is fun, this is comfortable, but customization which actually came very, very strong that we had it only in the Mama, Ma in the, Mama, in the yes. Malay style, yes. uh, Malaysian style uh, uh, coffee shop. The others, yeah, so you, you really want to take Customi this. Customization, okay. yes. So I want you now to quickly decide the business objectives. Business objectives. Yeah, no, l listen, yes, so yes. the business exists to do what? From a business point of view. Mm -hmm. So I want you to, 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 to say, is this going to be one-off or you want a branch in each and every university or you want 1,000 branches in five years? And what profit before tax you would like to achieve? PBT. Okay. Yeah. So this is something that you, just to give you an, an, an idea. This is the objective. The, the business objective. Business so this business. is the business. You see, every business appears to make, uh, exist to make the, a the, the, yes, the, the uh, not for profit is a different thing, but for, this is a for profit business, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So the profit has to be one of its business objectives, yeah. right? So the, you, you need to come up with a target. I, I'm just telling, so 20% yeah. is a good target. Yeah. Yeah. 20% yeah. yeah. is a good target. Profit before tax. So you can, you can, if you, you want to use this, just, and, um, and also, do you have any other, other business, uh, uh, business objective like number of branches, uh, mark, market share, uh, ranking in the business? This is also can, can be a business objective. Yeah. But can it also be like one of its kind? One of a kind, like you know, okay. Yeah. Yeah. One of its kind. Where 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 the owner boasts it, like just say sure. if, if we just say we sure. give this this particular idea to Taylor, sure. so that means Taylor's now boasts this. Sure. sure. So it's one of its kind, and you can boast it that this is yours. Sure. Uh, so sure. instead of having like a thousand branches throughout the country, is, is your yeah. choice. Yeah. Is your choice. So, but this sounds like more like your vision, yeah, rather than a business objective. So for example. A business objective when you say I want to achieve 20% profit before tax. Yeah. There are many strategies to do it. Yeah, but if sure. you say I want to be the only one shop that is so small, yeah. then you, you can achieve that and lose money, right? Yeah, there, 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 are, there are actually businesses that exist just because the owner believe in them. You know, literally they, they should have closed a long time ago, but the business believe that one day, you know, that their day will come. So I want you to think of, because later I'm asking you to do the strategic plan, which is the vision. Now the vision is, what do you want to be? One of a kind. You know, so it sounded like a vision. So this is like, you are the only one who's doing this. You're the only one who dare to do that. Or how would the world would be when you achieve your mission? So when your mission is done. That's the vision. How would the world look like? Yeah. So when I eradicate illiteracy, illiter uh, illiteracy or uh, poverty, uh, how would the world look like, you know, um, things like that. Okay. Okay? Right. okay? Yeah. So if, like, say we, are, we want to get a Michelin star or something like that, is that within... The What's a Michelin star? Michelin star is like uh, for restaurants, right? Yeah, it's the highest ranking you can get. Yeah, it's the highest ranking you can get in the world. Yeah, sure. Can it be a business objective or a vision or... I think this can be, can be both, but here sounds like a, also a business objective. All right. Yeah, yeah. Michelin sounds, one, yeah. Two, one, two, so, 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 so the... Yeah, so the, 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 the mission, 
So you see, the vision is really not about the other people, what they think about you, is how do you want to be seen and how do you want the world to look like? The mission is what will you be doing so that, or what's the, or the purpose of your existing so that you eventually get the, um, the, the world or you to look like what you want it to be. Now the business objectives is you have people working for you, right? Yes. End of the month, their pay needs to be paid. Yes. That's business objective. You're renting a place. You need to pay, pay your, your rent, your bills. That's a business objective. Now you yourself want to have a profit so that you could do other things, you could help others. That's a business objective. That's really tied to you know, your operations, daily operations. This is something that you will track. You will have quarterly kind of goals for it. You have monthly tracking. Some you know, businesses, they track it almost daily, you know, they, how much they sold and, and, and things like that. So this is, a business, this is a business objective. You cannot say this is my mission to just sell. It cannot be just, or my vision is to just make so much money. This is such a weak kind of, now, there are people who say my mission is to be rich, but, but when you become rich, you will imagine, so what? Yeah, and, and, and uh, if you wanna be rich, why should I work for you? So what's in it for me? But when you say my mission is to change the world and be rich in the process, then at least people can, can actually join you because they are, they are feeling that they are part of a bigger kind of thing. Yeah, okay? So, so you guys are on the right track. Um, Cling to it and uh, uh, come up with your business objectives, whatever you think is relevant to this, congruent with it, and um, move to the core competencies. Now, 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 please read the core competencies before you, you start putting customization and you read what did we say about core competencies, please. Yeah, so that you are guided by the, princi the theoretical principles that we've developed. Huh? Thank you. Just continue, yes. Whatever you are saying. Yeah. <laughs> Re repeat it, repeat it. Repeat it. Our core competency is like unique environment because we are providing like a very special place that you cannot find anywhere else. You know? Okay. And we're also working on a name. Uh, okay. <laughs> do, do, you, do you think if someone say my core competency is Okay, read, read, read the, the, uh, the uh, core competencies. Okay, what, what's the core competency for us? Since you have, uh, yeah. Now, if you have it, you can look at, if not, you can listen to Dominique. Uh, core competency results from a specific set of skills or production techniques that deliver additional value to the customer. Okay, so, so there are skills, there are techniques, there are capabilities, right? So. A un you, can you read? A unique ability of a company, right? A unique ability that a company acquires from its founder or develops and that cannot be easily imitated. Yeah. So does this really capture what we have been talking about? Unique environment? Not specific. Yeah, because this is too general, right? But you, you guys are, are talking about very specific things here. So what's the core competency for Dell? So custom made, so this, that's clear, right? So in, in, you know it's a computer, everyone is making you in mass and these people say we customize. That's very different. Mm. Or when, when Apple say easy to use product, that's, you know, a core comp a, a good, a real core competency is something that's really in existence. I mean, I know everyone can claim that their product is easy to use. That's, that's totally different. But for you to be, so what kind of staff you will need? You, so, so, so you need, you need do, no, you, you people who sell your coffee. Are they world renowned? People that sell, maybe not, but maybe the people that give the consultation services. Right. So actually, you have access to world renowned consultants. I'd say you need co competency. Right? Uh, even, even your people who, 
who was with me yesterday, uh, Wednesday, when we, uh, when I ordered from Alta? Yeah, so did you remember the, the girl just took the money, didn't say anything, you know, she's very efficient, took the money, take there, yeah, but she's like, you know, and she's seeing the camera, and as, she's under stress, she doesn't know what to do, but what you, what you want, you want people like, Starbucks, they were like, yeah, they talk to us, it's different, and I think their pay is different, and I think they, they spoke English, and you, different. And that tells you about not only the ability of the company to attract certain people, but also what kind of training these people have been given. Because I believe there is a training. You don't just come and become, um, you know, work in X or Y or Z. But if you go to the Malaysian style, I think if they have a vacancy, I think they will just give you an apron and say, okay, you know, you, it's a different philosophy. The, this is not necessarily better than that. They, give you, a, they deliver a different experience. Now for us to blow it up and come up with this totally unique uh, concept, then you know, we will we'll be needing very specific core competency that if I have it, I can deliver the value proposition. So if I have a unique environment, will I be able to deliver the value proposition, which is to provide, cons what's this? Provide free consultation service for students in the campus. Good coffee and a place for students to benefit academically. Yeah. Maybe intellectually as well, right? Not only academically, because this is something that you want to take it to a new level. Sounds like something that each university should have, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry? You should be a businessman, yes. That's why you are taking this course, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. So, so this value proposition, maybe just for to make it more more understood, may, maybe you could say, a coffee shop that provides. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know, I'll leave it to you, but I, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. I, I think because we have been through the process so we understand. I think you, you, you need to really work on this because you know, later, this core competency has to be uh, translated into the resources that you need. So what kind of venue you will need? What kind of technology you will need? What kind of team you will need? What kind of people you'll be needing to achieve this? Okay? Yeah. So work, work a bit more on the core competencies. Really, what is that different that's needed to your firm or company or coffee shop to have that is either provided by the founders or acquired? So there is maybe certain thing that you as founders don't have, but you need to acquire. So maybe the acquisition will happen by partnership with uh, a learned society. You want to be uh, the National Academy for Engineering partner or uh, the uh, uh, Science Academy to be partners with you. Just, just an idea. Yeah. Is the value proposition ready? Yes, yes. yes. Who wants to tell me what the value proposition is? I said, okay. To allow customers to enjoy, uh, to allow our customers enjoy coffee, food, indoor smoking without losing precious time, while enjoying special high-speed internet with photocopying and printing services. Right, and so so you you really are catering for the smokers inside. Yes, we'll have a special room for them, indoor smoking, special room. Right. Okay, and you think this this I, and this is quite unique because I, I I see people trying to push the smokers out. Yes. You are embracing the smokers. It's so because I, we know that there's a. Well really? Yeah. Yeah. Smoker and non-smoker is still our customer, so we won't yeah. provide yes. them air conditioning. It's, it's raining outside. I can, we can I cannot expect them to sit outside in the rain or just we'll drive them away somehow. Okay. I uh, who is not smoker here? So so if if you go to if if you go to a place where uh, it's a, the smoking is allowed, what do you feel? If it's in the room and it's not affecting me, I'm okay. For me, if I go to a hotel, um, I don't want 
the smoking uh, room because actually no matter how they clean it, the smell's still there. I, I could smell it. So, so I'm, I'm just telling you, I'm, we'll stick with this, but I'm just you know, telling you that you really need to be critical, but right. I think we need to move on. So let's say to, to keep this, I want you to work out now what is your business objectives? Now the business needs to, on the long term, achieve its strategic goals. Yes. Its vision, its mission, yes. but on a daily basis, you need revenue so that you could pay for your workers, rent that place, buy the technology that will clean this smoking room so that the... So as a smoker, when you smoke in a small room that he'll give you, would you like to inhale the other people's smoke or would that make it even a nicer place if you... No, or, 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 or if there is something that sucks the smoke yeah, straight away, that would be... Uh, right because i've seen in in airports yes, airport. you, you could like see that you don't need to even lit a cigarette i think you just go in and inhale whatever these people have it's called secondary smoking isn't it passive yeah smoker. sorry passive smoker. passive smoker so you become just go in and you, you get yeah just you don't have to For even free. pay yeah yeah so um okay so 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 the, the daily operation needs to be sustainable yes. so Normally, from a business point of view, your business uh, objectives uh, has to be, uh, my advice, has to have a profit target in it. So things like maybe profit before tax of how much? 20%. Profit before tax. Right. And, uh, and also, is there any other thing that you want to achieve? Like, for example, being the number one uh, coffee shop in the country or uh, to have, uh, I don't know, thousand branches within how many years? These are all business objectives in terms of profit and growth expansion. So you need to quickly decide what you want, whether how many branches, branches, market share, uh, expansion, overseas expansion, and very importantly, your <laughs> profit before tax targets. These are called business objectives. Then quickly move into the core competencies. And again, please write, uh, uh, see what did we say about the, the, the core, core, competence, core competencies. How do they establish? We've given examples for Dell and Apple. But before you just go and, and uh, craft your, your uh, core competency based on that of Apple or Dell, there is one slide to say, what is a core competency? So it's a skill, it's a technology. It's, so what, what technology will you need? What skills do you need that are very specific for this to, to be successful? Then we will move it. The next step is to what technology you will need, what people you will need for this to work. And this has to be people who are capable of the, uh, achieving the core competencies so that you can deliver eventually the value proposition to your Customers. Okay? Yeah. Yes, yes, money, yes, yes. So how will you measure it? By, by the other services that we get, we're able to attract a greater, Im a greater inflow of customers. Right. So that what we give out as free will encourage even more to buy. Okay, so how will you measure your business success and business and what are the business objectives? So I give you, I give you an example to make it easy for you. Uh, I, I think profit should be there because for this to operate on its own, unless it's not for profit, so if it's not for profit, someone has, should have given you a grant or someone has to, because at the end of the day, for this to run, you need money. So either someone has paid you that money or you, you have to make your own money. So profit before tax, PBT is a good indication. If you ask me, I think 20% is going to be good. Good profit before tax. So that's going to be profitable. That's what Mike said, money. Now, you may also say uh, your, ta your business objective is growth. Because achieving the money could be through a variety of, uh, achieving the, the profit could be through a variety of things. Growth is one of them. And uh, maybe you want to have a branch in each and every university. By when? Or uh, you want to, as you said, 
increase the inflow of customers. So you want this to be 24 hour kind of operation and you will have uh, at each hour, I don't know, 100 or 300 or whatever number you put of customers in, coming in and, and, and using the service and, and leaving per branch. Yeah. So it's, it's good to be aware of the term business objectives and also to know how, how, how you, you can measure it. So this is, if you notice, when we talk about the mission and the vision, we don't necessarily, we, usually we don't put um, uh, money, uh, my mission to be rich. No one, actually, even if they really want to be rich, they won't tell you I exist to be rich. They will say, you know, we are here to, you know, to create, to make a better world, to enable our customers to achieve their potential and things like that. And in the process, if I can get rich, that would be great. Yeah, so that would be like the alignment of your life mission with your business objectives. And that's, that's beautiful. If you can do it, then you are doing something that you believe in. And at the same time, you are, yeah, I'm, I'm falling in love with, the, with this coffee shop actually. Be all, he put. Yeah, be all also means something else, right? I didn't think about that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> yeah. So, so we say profit, profit. Yeah. Yeah. So profit. Yeah, PBT maybe 20% profit before tax, P, B, P, profit. Uh, so I could see that you really have uh, studied the thing very well. Yeah. Yeah. So later, if we really want to go to details, we won't do that. For this PBT to be, to be you know, 20%, uh, this ratio is what to what? So remember we have the revenue and then we have the cost of goods sold and the indirect expenses and so on. Yeah. For the business objective, can we say? Yeah, yeah, give, give him the, yeah. Sorry, yep. I was asking, uh, for the business objectives, can we say create a competition among customers? Like let's say we have the questions of the day. At the end of the day, we put on our website, we put the people who solve okay. the Are questions. you listening to him? Yeah, maybe you can, you can, yeah. uh, you, you haven't turned it on, I think. Can you repeat the question? Yeah. I was asking if for the business objectives, could we say we want to create a business, uh, we want to create a competition among our customers. Like at the end of the day, we have the questions of the day, we put the winners on our website. So the more people who have solved the question, the less points you get. So that means no one, they wouldn't even just give the answers to each other. So, and at the end of the day, people who have more points could we say, sure. could say like, I have this many points. So people, they want more points, so they would buy more coffee to solve more questions, something like that. Sure. So they would get more and more points. Okay, so have you got the question, can this, technique that he talks about be a business objective. So people who have actually more points can be considered like more yes. smarter who than thinks, others. Who thinks no? Yeah. Be critical. So this is, yeah, you, you see, yeah? Oh, strategy and promotion. This is a strategy to do what? To sell more. Copy. Which is a business objective. Yeah, so your business objective is to bring more people in, right? Now your strategy could be uh, buy one free one, could be uh, you create a competition so these points are so much in demand that people will come in. This is a strategy, that's exactly right. But your business objective is you want, now putting maybe you wanting a million people to be on this website, that can be a business objective. Yes, yeah, please speak to the mic, yes. How about we provide a learning experience for the users, is it? Okay, uh, so the learning experience, is it a business objective? It can be, isn't it? Okay, so to achieve what? So when you provide a good learning experience, what will happen? Um, you get good marks and grades and stuff. You will get what? Great, good marks. And you will stuff. get good marks. You yeah. as who? As the students or the business? 
The customer. The customer. So when the customer gets good marks, what will the business get? Okay. Okay? So when the business become more famous, what will happen? More people will come into the... And then what will happen? More profit. So actually what you want is, you see, that's the key. You want to benefit the people, and I highly appreciate this. But for your business to, to be successful, you will need to pay the bills at the end of the month. You will need to pay the salaries of all these people, this access to the universities and so on. This will definitely cost money. So what you will do is you will be putting all these things so that more customer come in so that you actually become profitable. But you are not doing profit by doing something bad. You are doing profit by adding so much value for your customers so that this person, instead of like wasting their time doing a non-productive activity for hours in the, in the coffee shop maybe now, suddenly you are providing them an, a, an, a place where they can still have coffee, network, meet interesting people, but at the same time grow intellectually, get good marks, which is maybe their, ob their objectives to come here. So I want you to not feel shy wanting to make money. That's the key. As an entrepreneur, your success is when you, and when you have more money, you will be able to do good things, uh, give free scholarships, donate for the uh, worthy causes. If you don't have the money, how can you do it? Yeah. So the business objective is really about your growth and about that. Now, you also have your guiding vision and mission and the strategies that you will do that has to be very congruent, very aligned with your mission and vision. So because your, 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 your mission is to, your vision is to become a central hub for students around the world, then your strategies would be what? What you have mentioned, the, 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 um, the points that you've mentioned and all, 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 all these kind of things. Do, do you see now how it all come together? Yeah, this is extremely important because if you think about it, later maybe when you watch the video even, you, you could actually replace coffee with cars or, or car company or whatever company and you can go actually through very similar uh, uh, process. Okay, so core competencies, you're working on it? Good, you continue? Thanks. Okay, so what are the core competencies here? <laughs> yeah, so our core competencies are like ever change in atmosphere. There is like going to be a every week. There's going to be a, like some kind of surprise or some kind of team, right? And the customers will really involved like they if they like mix their own drink and it's really good. It's going to be in the menu. Okay, uh, l l let me just try to examine what you guys are saying. So, ever-changing atmosphere. So maybe uh, what, what comes to my mind uh, today is uh, tropical, tomorrow maybe something else, uh, Christmas is going to be a different thing. Okay, is this a strategy or a core competency? Okay, let me ask you another question. For you to be able to change the atmosphere very quickly and very creatively, what do you need? What skills do you need? Creativity. So you need creativity. So that's the skill. What else do you need from technology point of view? Yeah, because you see, I could have the place designed in such a way, it's so, so difficult to change it. It's not really the place that's changing, it's more of like the, the, the outfits and the decorations, it's small little Fine, things. I'm with you, I'm with you. So you don't really need technology to change that. Okay, so you don't need technology. Not really. Okay, so these outfit, outfits are what? It's costumes that the waiters are going to wear, the people working there, and like small decorations around the place. Cool. So who's getting, where are you going to store them when they are not in use? Who's going to design them? Maybe we can rent them. The outfits. You, you, you can rent them? Yeah. 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 From where? 
Yeah. yeah. So, so the, the, do you see what, where I'm leading you? Actually, your core competency is not the, this. This is the outcome. But your compi core competency is the creativity to decide when and what would be the, uh, the, uh, uh, what would the atmosphere be? As I give you an example. During Christmas time, everyone will have a Christmas theme. Will you have the same thing? So is that, is that really a core competency? We change it almost every week. Okay. So yeah. So to, to, achieve, to achieve this, so how many weeks are there in the, in the 52? Yeah. Now, uh, would, would, do you think it's get, if you are changing every week, it's wiser to buy your costume or to rent them? I don't know. I don't know. But let's say you still want to rent them. So what kind of costume shop that will be able to provide you on a week notice costume for all your staff, same size. That's the core competency. How to create that partnership so that the change in atmosphere takes place. Okay. So, so this is, have you been to places where you actually see that the thing just happened? You know, like, wow, that's great. But the, so that's the outcome. And, but what you didn't see is the amount of work behind it. And that's why, you know, sometimes you, even in football, they kick one player out and the team crumbles. You know, you like, what, what, what happened? You have 11 people. How come this, suddenly the team, this guy had a core competency that he somehow manages to connect the entire team? So basically it's the skill of the people. Okay, I want you to open the core competency, okay. Please take the mic and read for us the core competency. So there is a slide about what, what's the definition. Read to all. Please be, be open-minded while he reads it for you and read through the mic. A core competency results from a specific set of skills or production techniques that deliver additional value to the customer. So, I mean, it says it results from a specific set of skills. So that means it's the result from those skills. Okay, read, read more an important special capability or expertise, especially that of a business affording it sustainability, a sustainable competitive advantage. Okay. So, I mean, what, I mean, my, my interpretation of this is that mm. this capability or expertise is, I mean, it's the specialty of the business. Okay, so you read the second point again, slowly? Second point. Is yes, the, so it's a capability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just read. An important special capability or expertise, yes, especially that of a business affording it sustainable competitive advantage. Yes. So, is is changing the atmosphere is the capability and expertise that will give you the sustainable advantage? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want to argue with you yeah, yeah, because yeah. actually, you see. You go to mission and vision. There are beautiful missions and beautiful visions. There are poor missions and poor visions. For those of you who have been with us on Wednesday, we checked, where's Chris? We checked the, uh, the Old Town, right? Their value proposition on the website. And we realized they, they do have a value proposition, but from a customer point of view, it's very different from what's on the website. So again, to repeat for the benefits of those who have not been with us, okay, I always, when I see students, I ask them, why did you join Taylor's? And I hope to hear that, you know, it's, it's the, you know, uh, the curriculum, it's maybe the project-based learning, and I do get that. But sometimes I ask students, I say, why did you join? They say, close to home. So to him, the value proposition is, this is the closest place, I don't want to travel more, and I'm going there. Uh, or uh, 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 why did you join? You know, my girlfriend joined and I just want to be with her. Uh, these are real, real examples. So to that specific person, the value is really that a person that's important to him or her is here, so she's there. The, if the person changes, then the whole thing changes. So what I'm telling you here is, I'm telling you when you read more and when you go again to see the examples that we've given to to about Dell and and uh, and um, uh, easy, to use easy to use product. So easy to so 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 this core competency. How is it delivered? Yeah. Anyhow, I I I'm 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 fine with whatever you pick. Eventually, this 
core competency, uh, you need to link it to the resources that you need. Okay. So you have to say what kind of uh, people you will need to have to deliver this, what kind of technology, if any, uh, to deliver this, what kind of financial resources you need so that this, and this is all if you see as if you are writing the business plan for, 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 for this business. Okay, so uh, uh, think about it for a while. If you are happy with it, leave it. If you want to add to it or change it, I, I will be okay. And um, I want you to think of what, what would be your entry to the market when you do this. Is this like disruptive innovation or is it a novelty? So if it's a novelty, I want you to develop your marketing strategy very quickly because you, again, you will go to the uh, to the slides and what we say, so if it's a novelty, if you agree that this is a novelty, then you have the chasm to, to cross, right? Yeah. So you have the early adopters, how are you going to talk to, to work with them? If this is a disruptive innovation, what would be the, the technique to use? And if this is a commodity, which I don't think it is, what would be the technique to use? Right. Okay? Okay, thanks. Yes, thank you. So work this quickly on this as, I mean, if you don't have anything after this, because we... Uh, oh, yeah. Twelve. Yeah, I, that's your choice. That's your. But I think the team. I hope if you you have to leave. Yeah, sure. Yep. Yep. Guys, can you can you quickly 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 come up with your um, entry to the market? Good. So it's novel. So if it's novel, yes. How do how will you? If you again, please read from what did we say about marketing novel products. Okay, so I want you to, you know, you have, you, there, there will be a chasm to cross. Yeah, the market to be yeah so, the, so the early adopters, how are you going to bring these few, how, how many percent, five, six percent of the people who will be very interested in this, how are you going to find them, empower them, you know, blog about them, make them go and speak to the other people about your product? This, this is extremely important. Okay? Yeah, quickly, I, I really hope that we will be able to have like two, three minutes presentation about the entire thing group by group before we end. Okay, have you guys decided the uh, business objectives? Okay, the core competencies? Improve, incorporation. Incorporation of, yeah, okay, yeah. Unique ventilation for indoor smoking, high internet speed, online system everything orders sure okay good so now what i want you to do is to de to decide your entry to the market so is this actually a commodity so is this like similar to maybe old town but you are differentiating it or is this a novelty something like really really out of this world so i want you again to go to the slide and see for different you have either disruptive innovation marketing of a novel product or, or a service or marketing of a commoditized product or a service. Each one of them, we said there are different strategies to market them. I want you to quickly come up with some strategies to, mar to, to market on this. And then I hope that we have like five minutes presentation each group so that we really close it. Yeah, so, so is that okay? Yeah, yeah. so I, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, uh, guys five minutes each to, to, to achieve, so you'll start with, and um, can you quickly work out your uh, vision and mission? I mean, the strategic plan, how would the world look like? Like for example, you want everyone to be a smoker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really against smoking. Aren't you? Yeah, no, I think he's not, because he's been to the smoking rooms in the airport. No, I, you walk through, I don't go in. Yeah, so I see them, it's actually, you see a lot of people standing, and they are like, and then you know, like, like <sighs> it's not weed, man. <laughs> oh, is that how you do it? <laughs> okay, good. Yes. Okay, what's the commodity? Did you attend this, you know, when I brought the salt? Salt? So salt, everyone, is the, it's the same thing, isn't it? It's, is, is so sodium chloride. Yeah. So if this is just coffee, for example, you are selling, how do you make it different? So you say this is uh, 
You're selling salt with Decaf, huh? Sorry? You're selling salt with color. With coloring. Yeah, so, so, yeah, so maybe the, for the salt we say we, we are adding iodine. Uh, this is uh, salt from a, a very nice place. It's a mountain salt. This is a sea salt. This is a rock salt. Uh, or you could uh, incorporate it with something else. Like you say, you get this salt, but you get the salt grinder with it, or, or something like that. So this is a, it's a commodity. If you look at the basic product, the basic thing is everyone will have the same. So I give you another example of a commodity. Uh, you have, uh, uh, do you drive? Uh, not here. Okay. Uh, who drives here? Okay. So what, 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 what petrol do you use? So the, this petrol is, interestingly, the basic one, the price is controlled by the government. So Shell, Petronas, uh, whoever, is, it, is, is actually the same, the, same, the same product. Do you know that it's exactly the same product? So actually, this, this all go to the petrol depot exactly the same. But what every company, they have a secret additive, which we don't know what it is. They add it into the, 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 the blend before they send it to the petrol stations. Now, there, is, there should be a reason that why you are, you are picking Shell. It's the same product. It's the same price. How did they manage to convince you to, to use Shell? Can you tell me? Yeah. So you, you think it's higher mileage? I use uh, Petronas. I use yeah, but have you really tested it? Yeah. How did you test it? Yeah, but you see the driving conditions will be different. You know, there's no it's way you can. A, like, in the long term, you're using it. You mm. have to see that it is a difference. Not so not a lot, but there was a, there was an ad that you showed us. Yes. Uh, I forgot the company's name. Yeah. You related from the from the top to the bottom how it's being. I forgot the name. It's very famous. Um, yeah, there, there, there was there was this uh, advertisement from the internet you showed us. Uh, when did you show us? Uh, it was it was exactly about this petrol. They kind of b become emotional. They kind of relate to you somehow. Right. So they make you feel like this is yeah. this is the petrol. Exactly. And, so and you're saying it's basically the same thing as yes. So so this is this is one way. So they have convinced you that performance is better or mileage is better. Yeah. The, some other people take it because of the points. So they the, the card yeah. you you do it. So. If you see what's happening here, there is some differentiation that you feel that it's make it, that will makes it better for your car or for your lifestyle or for whatever. So if you look at the Kadai Masra, the the the, the Petronas, uh, yeah, the, the the Petronas uh, convenient shop. Do you know this is becoming a big source of income? even maybe more than the money that they make from the petrol, because the, 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 the profit on petrol is very, very limited per liter. But they make, they, they create, they make this even more uh, convenient than 7-Eleven. You know, it's, it's uh, in, many, in many petrol stations, 24 hours. In many petrol stations, it has an ATM machine. Now you can even have breakfast there. So if you think about it, this is really about bundling things together. So if it's a commodity like this petrol, which we know come all from the same source, and then you are convincing customers for, diff for different reasons that this is a better for your bike, or the points are good, or the shop, you can, you can do your banking things with it, then that's how you do a commodity kind of uh, product. If you have only like new fuel, novel fuel tomorrow that is rocket fuel for example that you put in your car i think the way first you'll be very skeptical in the beginning what will be the long-term effect so you will have few people who are willing to to try maybe you will try you will right i mean you see you look at you you you, you studied yourself you, you did try things that other people don't do so you empower him he will go and say you know this rocket fuel really rocks and then then you cross the chasm so that's the the novel product so the commodity at this end, the novel, you remember the, the price performance curve, yeah. So you, you need to make decision based on this. You don't just simply say, because you think it's, it's novel, it's novel. It's, maybe it's not novel, I mean what you put, not necessarily novel, yeah. Okay, are you guys ready for the presentation? Okay, uh, let's start presenting then. Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, so welcome to Taffy, that's the name of our coffee shop. Uh, basically, we started with some brainstorming and then we came up with a few ideas that we generally like and feel that it's lacking from the 
three shops that we found here. So the main value proposition that we're proposing is a quirky environment where rest meets fun and you can actually customize all your drinks and all your desserts. So this shop is basically like a coffee shop where it sells like uh, coffee ice cream, everything coffee. And the most important thing is you can mix and match every single thing. So we have various, various ingredients. Uh, the weirdest things that you can think of, fruits, alcohol, chocolate, all kind of weird salty treats as well. And then you can mix and match. And um, our market segment is everyone. Basically, it's a place where everyone can chill and, and have their sweetest indulgence that they want. And uh, moving on, we have like objectives, which is we want 30% profit before tax, um, five branches in five years, uh, a Michelin star in five years, the first one in Malaysia, and uh, we reward our employees with hard work. Okay, so the core competencies that we have is basically our creative juices, because we want to have a very uh, vibrant and changing environment. So we decided on teams for our coffee shop, whereby each week we will have a different team. So um, then that, that, the experience is always different when you come and visit each week. So one week you would have a Star Trek week, the next you would have like a, a, a nerdy week, like a library and that kind of thing. So it keeps things fresh and exciting and people want to come back again and again. Uh, how we enter the market, basically this is a new and novel product because um, nobody here actually encourages you to play with your food. Though they say you can customize with your drinks and that kind of thing, but it still has to be something that they have and something that's quite on the menu so they can charge you and that kind of thing. So it's totally different and uh, we plan to do it through like word of mouth and you know, uh, I say like, hey, you can actually make like a thousand different drinks from this shop then people get knowing about it and you know, that kind of thing. And we want to have a lot of appeal. So part of the fun is that uh, our menu is created by the customers themselves because we have that mix and match concept. So people can actually mix and match their own drinks and desserts and then others can vote on it. And if it's good enough, you can actually put your item on the menu and call it a, like a cash drink, like, you know, that kind of thing. So that's the fun part. So um, how are we going to start? Uh, part of our marketing strategy is to actually have a contest when we first open to get our preliminary menu up and running. So people come and vote for their favorite drinks and favorite desserts and all that kind of things. And when the voting goes on, the friends are actually the one pulling in the customers for us. So we don't actually have to do the marketing ourselves, but we get our customers to do the marketing for us. Okay, and a part of our e-commerce is that we are going to create an app for this where people can reserve tables, can, can view the daily ingredients that we have, can purchase the drinks online and you know, have everything ready and they just come and collect it or even if they want for like maybe a small fee, we can deliver it to them and that kind of thing. And our strategic plan, so the vision here is to revolutionize the dining experience by empowering individuals to personalize their dining experience. So the whole thing is about personalization. It's about making it your own. You are in charge of your own food. Nobody else can dictate what you want to eat. Okay, and the mission is, you know, we have that ever-changing coffee shop um, that encourages you to be playful. We want you to play with your food. And yeah, the core values is uh, our high morale. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. So I just want to say something very quickly. Why, why, do, uh, why do you think you, you need to use e-commerce? All right. Uh, part of why we want to use e-commerce is because we notice how the generation here, especially the population mm. tailors, is always on their smartphone and tablets, and we want to engage them more so we can actually have our um, ads and, and you know, daily promotions on the device themselves, so it creates that connection between our customers and us. Okay, so what, the reason why I ask this, because this is a learning outcome, isn't it? Yes. So now you know how you address it. You have had this, and then you had the e-commerce as part of your, uh, so use this for your portfolio. Okay? okay, cool. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, second team. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, if you, are, if you are leaving, just leave. Don't make noise. We want to, uh, and please rub this, take pictures and rub your, your work. Shh. Yeah. Okay, go, go ahead, please. Uh, okay, uh, hello everybody. We are called the uh, Green Bean Sprouts. So uh, our value proposition is to provide, uh, to be a coffee shop that provides free consultation services for students in the campus and uh, good coffee and a place for students to benefit intellectually. 
So, I mean, we, we kind of got this because we figured since we are going to open a coffee shop on campus, so we'll probably look at benefiting the general populace on campus more. So, okay, uh, our mission our vision is to become the central hub for students uh, around the world to exchange knowledge and our mission is to have a branch in every campus in Malaysia and for students to improve their results just by visiting us. Okay, so uh, some of the core competencies that we must have is uh, we have uh, access to world-renowned consultants, uh, as in academi uh, academicians or other intellectuals, and we have uh, staff as friendly tutors. We have, right. yeah. uh, we have uh, access to other universities' uh, networking database. Uh, that could be their, uh, you know, uh, journal database or their students or things like that. And we have um, up-to-date technology on our facilities. We have. Unlimited supply of coffee beans <laughs> and uh, a an unique area and environment uh, that's conducive and things like that. So, oh, sorry, it's a bit out of order. <laughs> um, right, our business objective is to profit, uh, is to have uh, profit before tax of 20% and growth of about five branches uh, per year. And our customer segment is the niche market, which mainly focuses on students, academicians, intellects, or basically anybody interested in improving mm. themselves intellectually mm. or looking for self-development. And how we do that, our strategies, are, some of them are like uh, providing free coffee for solving questions of the day or the week. You know, so this could be like a series of questions in, for different categories of uh, the f uh, field can engineering, business and things like that and when people solve it, they get free coffee and of course the reward increases exponentially uh, the longer the rem question remains unsolved and we have lucky draw on coffee so like lecturers can actually provide things like free consultation hours and things like that so uh, we will insert them into like these scratchable things on coffee cups and when they scratch it and they say like they win free consultation hours then the lecturer will have to honour it and give free consultation and things like that or maybe like more te uh, tests, uh, past tests or more assignments or uh, solutions to assignments and things like that. Um, we can also have uh, a system where customers can propose questions where as long as the question remains unanswered, the customer who proposed the question actually gets like free coffees and other benefits. Also, uh, we also provide things like customization of coffee and innovative ordering such as like we create an app for to allow online ordering or ordering through uh, mobile or uh, ordering from an iPad in the store itself and also we provide free reading materials this can be intellectual or uh, leisure and also we have guest lecturers that will give free consultation on the spot or free tutoring uh, study areas and gaming areas just to chill out uh, free coffee during exam periods <laughs> And also, we, have to, we can also find ways to work with the university to give free credit hours to students who work uh, for us in the coffee shop. All right. And so our entry to market, uh, uh, this is a kind of a novel product, not the coffee, but more of the experience we are selling. Yep. So we are, uh, and also we will achieve that by you know, doing, having a word of mouth, uh, endorsement from the university itself, or certain other things like you know, certain academies or you know, um, institutions and things like that. And also we'll have advertising where we can uh, advertise directly to certain parts of the market. Like we can approach customers or students that we see around campus who are like struggling to studying, uh, struggling to study in an environment that's noisy. We can tell them that, you know, you can always come here, it's uh, quiet, you have a place to study and things like that. Uh, we can do like those TVs around the market. We can put out advertisements, social media. And also we can have promotions such as like, uh, sometimes we have open days where we have like, Free coffee days for students and things like that. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, so the the e-commerce, uh, like the apps, the open me uh, the social media, and so on. Do you think this will be playing an increasing role in you know promoting this and maybe even spreading it in other places in the world? Uh, I think definitely because uh, if not, then they will have to actually come on site or something to see it. Yeah. So with an app, it could be more friendly. Maybe you can provide things like the questions of the week itself on the app. Right. Or uh, the promotions going yeah. on at this point of time, the guest lectures that's running yeah. and things like that. And, and actually, one of the ways to make money could be maybe to franchise this concept. So you don't necessarily have to own each and every one of them, but that system that you've built, you could franchise it. 
to other places where other people can run it and you can uh, uh, charge them franchise fee. Okay, good, thank you very much. So this is another way to make money. Yeah. Uh, we started from a brain networking session and then a brainstorming session uh, to look into what ideas we could incorporate into, into the coffee, coffee shop that we plan to build on campus. Um, we finalized a few ideas and then we came up with a business, sorry, with a value proposition you have to. No, we, we will, t so you want us to, t to, to yes. turn there? Yeah. We can turn the boards. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this no. so, so you want this, the other side? Okay, so this is promotion for our boards as well. Yeah. Extra. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, okay. um, yep. um, we call it the Coffee X Lounge. So this is our business objective. We want it to become the best hanging, hangout spot for, for the students uh, within three years' time. This is, what, uh, this is what we want in our first year, second year, and third year. We, want, we aim for a 5% profit before tax, 20 and, uh, 10, and 50, 10 and 20 with the next year's coming. Uh, <coughs> this, is our vi this is our vision, to provide an ideal environment for everybody to socialize. And along with our, uh, then we have a mission. This, <coughs> to have a coffee lounge, this coffee lounge in every university and corporate building that, that, uh, that is available. <coughs> our core, competen uh, co core competencies in include uh, having a photocopying and printing service. Uh, we have indoor smoking, so we'll have a ventilation system for indoor smoking. We have a separate room for smokers. Then we provide high-speed internet uh, to users that, that are willing to use uh, high-speed internet. And we have an online system to order coffee. And it's, it, ca it can be ready within 15 minutes. And when you, when you come to collect, it's already ready. You don't need to wait. <coughs> when it comes to marketing, we'll use uh, e-commerce. And we'll use uh, the Facebook page and Twitter to market it. We feel that this is uh, some sort of disruptive innovation because none of the coffee shops that we were researching uh, two days ago provide any of our core, core competencies. And we, 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 we think that these core competencies are, go are good enough to meet the, meet the students on campus. They, their demands can be met easily. So this is what we think. OK. Uh, core, you have a question, sir? No. I just wanted to, to say this sounds like uh, like part of the mission rather than the business objective to become one of the best okay, hangout because this is like here is sort of you could have combined it J just an idea yes, I mean there's a few yeah and and uh, we 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 still did not think of spreading for the first three years because we sure if we can in first three years make enough profit and we we find out where we are, where our mistakes are we'll rectify them and if it's successful we we want to sure. move to more universities okay great that's all okay thank you very much. Thanks.